You black male dusties are a trip. It's funny how y'all think when I say that men don't love children that they have with women that they don't love, it's blasphemy. But when a man says it, it's men in the comment section like, yeah, that shit's true. If we don't love your mother, we don't really love you, motherfucker. Do you know how many times people have said to me because I'm a single mother that the reason why my son's father is not around our son is because he didn't genuinely love me? I've heard that a million times. Men have said it to me. I'm simply repeating what's being said to me by men, men who come in my comment section, videos I've seen of men on social media, podcasts that I've listened to. I'm repeating the same thing that these men are saying. Oh, but when I say it, I'm a bitter black woman who's hurt that her baby daddy left her. There have been men bragging inside of my comment section about how often they can have intercourse with a woman without being emotionally attached to her. But when I say that that's what men do? Oh, it's I'm bitter. No, I'm just telling you what men tell me on the regular. I'm repeating back to you what y'all say to the world. When I say these things, y'all classify me as the bitter black woman who thinks all men are the same, no matter how many times I tell y'all that I believe men are not monolithic. And sometimes I sit here and I talk about the difference between a dusty and an exceptional man, but y'all don't hear that though. But let a man say what I'm saying. Y'all be high-fiving him. Y'all be thumbsing him up. First of all, women all over the world, listen to me. Stop having babies with black men. I'm not saying this because I hate myself. I'm not saying this because I hate black men. I'm saying this because they have the proclivity to have negative relationships with their children. Even when they get married to a woman, a lot of them divorce women and then never see their children again. Not because his ex-wife is a bitter bitty, but because they abandon children. Again, they abandon children. This is not a drill. If you want children, that's fine. But if you want somebody to help you with your children, my suggestion would not be to do that with a black man. Now, let me get this out the way. It's not all black men, but it's so many of them that it's going to be difficult to find a black man that's not like that. I got lucky. I found a black man who wasn't like that. And now our daughter is 21 and he's always been a good father. But I have a four year old right now and his father is the typical piece of of shit who tries to justify why he isn't in his child's life. That's a typical behavior of black men. I'm not saying all men, there are some exceptional men, but most black men are dusty. Instead of keeping their sperm to themselves, they're going to blame you for having a baby that they gave you permission to create when they gave you the elixir to get the shit done. If you don't get an abortion, to them, you had a baby that they did not want. They have sex with women they don't respect, they don't love, and they don't want to be with. And half the time, they don't even tell you that. They just pretend like they love you and want you. And then when you end up pregnant, they try to act like it was immaculate conception and they had nothing to do with it. I'm not just talking about my deadbeat ass baby daddy. I'm talking about hundreds of thousands of babies have been created by these men with women of all colors. And they'll try to convince you it's just the man that you chose. All cap. All cap. I'm calling all cap. Bitch, if it wasn't so many of y'all being left, it would be difficult for a bitch to choose poorly. Vet men better. Keep your vagina and your womb to yourself until you are completely sure that you want to have children and make sure that you are financially secure enough to raise them alone in the event that the man that you chose ends up not being who he said he was. Again, this is not all black men, but it's enough of them motherfuckers for you to take heed. Finding a good one 
is like winning the lottery. And we all know, even though there are good men out there, every good man ain't compatible with you. Don't get me started on the bird brain basic of bitches who will be baby mama number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to a man they know has the history of not taking care of children effectively. So you still have to factor in, do you even have what it takes to have a good man on your arm? Too many things you gotta factor in when you dealing with black men. Black history. Run, girl. Run.